likely be several months before stable internet and phone service returns to areas destroyed by the holiday farm fire. But residents and businesses don't have the time to wait, so the community is stepping in to close the communication gap. And KZI 9 News reporter Jacob Roberts shows us how volunteers have come together to make it happen. You can't see it from the highway, but nestled up in the hills above Blue River lies a critical new piece of the puzzle for restoring what the holiday farm fire took from residents who live here. A piece of the puzzle because there's many of these new communications towers in the area. Well, it actually starts in Bend and then is repeated uh, on a tower on Hoodoo, the ski resort, then to a place called Carmen Smith and then to Belknap Bluff and then right up on the mountain behind us, which is called Castle Rock. Providing critical access to the outside world, these new towers are the handiwork of Oregon Internet Response. Think of them like first responders, but for the Internet. The group, with the help of many other volunteers, has restored Internet for a ranger station as well as the local electric utility in the area. They've used the towers to set up Wi-Fi access for the public to connect to. To get connected, just look for one of these orange boxes. From there, you can go right onto your phone and search for the emergency Wi-Fi access, or you can scan the QR code. Lane County Commissioner Heather Buck says getting the community back online is a priority, not just to connect with loved ones or 911, but for students doing distance learning. It's very important that if we move forward with rebuilding the Blue River community, internet must be here. That is part of the solution for both short-term and long-term recovery. Reporting in Blue River, Jacob Roberts, KEZI 9 News. Oregon Internet Response says the network won't be there for good, but they'll keep it running until CenturyLink and Spectrum rebuild their network.